Even though I've lived in Florida for 13 years now, there's still a lot I don't know about this state. And since learning new things is a big passion of mine, I decided to look up a few things about Florida that I didn't know and share it with you guys right here. And you might have heard a few of these before, but I guarantee there's gonna be at least one or two things on this list that you probably didn't know about Florida, so let's check them out. The first one is that Florida has more coastline than any other state. And my first initial thought on this was, wow, I thought maybe that would go to California because it's such a huge and long state. But then once you realize that Florida has coastline on both sides of the state, it's easy to see how we take the cake on that one. Now the second one is that a lot of people think that California produces the most of everything when it comes to our fruits and vegetables. And while that might be true for a lot of our produce, there are some things here in Florida that we grow more of than they do over there. And the main ones are tomatoes, grapefruits, sugarcane, snap beans, cucumbers, oranges, and watermelons. The third thing is that Florida has the largest collection of Art Deco buildings than any other place in the world. And right here in Miami, we're probably home to a good majority of it here because we even have a protected district in Miami Beach known as the Art Deco District where they're not allowed to tear down any of these old Art Deco buildings. And that's probably a large part of the reason why we have the most Art Deco buildings than any other place in the world. This fourth one is definitely one I didn't know before, and that is that Jacksonville is the largest city in the contiguous United States. And we're talking square miles wise. So just the sheer size of the city is bigger than any other city in the country. And I think that's mind blowing because just by visiting or driving through the area, you wouldn't really realize that at first glance, but hey man, Jacksonville, biggest city in the US. The fifth one is that Miami is the only metropolitan city in the United States that has two national parks. We have Biscayne National Park and Everglades National Park. And if you live here in the Miami area, it's very easy to visit these areas because Biscayne National Park is basically just one giant bay. So the best way to visit that is by snorkeling or taking a boat ride through it. And the Everglades, you can visit the Everglades from Miami within about a 45 minute drive roughly and go on one of the boat tours and also take some tours through the Everglades and maybe do some hikes if you're brave enough. Might as well just wait. This damn fire truck's always messing up my videos, man. Number six is regarding Anna Maria Island, and I've never been there before, but I'm looking forward to visiting on my upcoming trip around Florida. And that is that they don't have any chain restaurants or high-rise buildings in Anna Maria Island. I'm not sure why this is, but I'm sure I'll get some more insight on that once I visit in person. This one I thought was super cool, and I know there's been some requests about some wildlife videos, and I'm looking forward to actually doing some of those hopefully soon. I wanna visit the Everglades again. I've been there a few times before, but I wasn't making videos then and don't have much footage of it. But I had no idea that the Everglades is the only place in the entire world where alligators and crocodiles coexist. And in case you don't know the difference, one way I always found easy to tell, I heard this a long time ago if it was on National Geographic or something like that, but basically alligators have like a rounded face and the crocodiles have a more pointy snout with a little round on the end. Once you see the difference between these two in the pictures, you'll always be able to tell the difference once you kind of remember that fact. And I do know that this is true because I've been to the Everglades a few times and you do see both. Alligators are a lot more common, but there's crocodiles too. In fact, there was even a saltwater crocodile spotted here in Miami Beach, probably maybe four or five years ago, right in Biscayne Bay. Number eight is an interesting one, and it's regarding how Florida got its name. I actually always wondered that too, because Florida is such an interesting name when you look at it vocabulary-wise and compared to the names of other states. So apparently, Florida got its name from Spanish explorer Ponce de Leon, and he called it La Florida in honor of Pascua, Florida. And in Spanish, that means Feast of the Flowers, which I guess is a term for Easter. <laughs> Something interesting. The next thing is that Florida is actually the top travel destination in all of the world, which I find mind blowing. I had no idea that was the case, but considering the fact that we have, you know, the world's greatest theme parks right here in Orlando, and obviously there's a ton of other things to do and see here in Florida, and the weather is beautiful all year round, it's no wonder that we get so many people visiting here. 
but I'm actually shocked to find out that this is the most visited place in the entire world. This one I can totally attest to and relate to, and that is that even though Florida is called the Sunshine State, we actually have the highest average precipitation than any other state in the United States, which is kind of funny, you know? It's like two opposites. They're saying we're the Sunshine State, but we also get more rain than anywhere else. In defense of the name, we do get plenty of sunny days here in Florida. And when the rain does come, we get a lot of it all at once, guys. It's common for us to get huge downpours. That's how we get some of this flooding that happens here because out of nowhere, you know, we'll get a few inches of rain in just a couple of hours. And, you know, that's how we end up getting more precipitation than any other state because it just seems to all fall at once sometimes. So let me know in the comments if there's any of these that you didn't know and which ones they were. And check out some of my other videos about Florida right over here. And I'll see you guys over there.